And uh, Brad, as you say, coming to you from the TD Comfort Zone at the TD Toronto Jazz Festival. Day five of the fest. So excited to welcome our next guest during this 30th anniversary of this classic summer event. His name is Robbie Botosh. And Robbie is, of course, a Hungarian-Canadian jazz piano phenom. And he's had an incredible year. He picked up a Juno for his Moving Forward album in April. And he has a beautiful record out with bass player Paul Novotny, who he performs with tonight. Robbie's also part of the uh, Oscar Peterson tribute, Oscar with Love, a big year with that as well. He starts a six-concert run at the Jazz Bistro tonight. And Robbie Botosh, welcome to Jazz FM 91 once again. Thank you for having me. Great to be here. Now, I have to say, uh, that intro was fun to put together. Uh, are you excited about... Uh, do you feel good with all that energy around you this year? Yes, this is just, uh, I mean, it's it's really, really great to have recognition with some of these awards and, and, and just making great music and being involved in great projects like Oscar with Love. It's it's just really a blessing. You were certainly seemed emotional at Juno Night, and, and I wonder what getting that statue meant to you personally uh, after a, a long run, and I think everybody believed it was well-deserved. Well, you know, I mean, it's it's hard to put it in words, but I mean, as far as music in Canada goes, that's pretty much the most prestigious award you can get, and and we put so much work and and soul and heart in in, in moving forward the recording that it was just a really great, uh, you know, payback in a way. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, these projects. I mean, we look at these next three nights at the Jazz Bistro. It's sort of a different act on, on each night. What do you look for in projects these days? Well, you know, I mean, uh, I, I'm trying to, uh, you know, push for my original music and, and, and have that. But I'm also, I'm very happy to be collaborating with people like Paul Novotny. And I'm very proud of that album we did. Uh, uh, look ahead because it has a lot of uh, different type of things what we normally do very mellow and and some high energy stuff but mostly an intimate kind of sound with uh, some beautiful old standards and some original music and you know like I'm happy to collaborate with a lot of people it's always a little bit uh, more special when I can play my original music and ideas and make it sound good with a great band so Let's talk about tonight's show. You just mentioned it with uh, Paul Novotny. You two are great musical friends, but you all, I believe, you go all the way back to your first days in Canada. I think he was uh, involved with you at that point. Yes, so just like almost every single musician in Canada, he was also supporting me with uh, staying in Canada when I had a lot of struggle and a hard time. He was one of the musicians who uh, signed a petition and, and supported and wanted me to stay in Canada along with Field Wire. And I mean, the list goes down. I, we could be here all day, you know. <laughs> but 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 uh, you know, he he's a very nice guy, and we our background as well. Uh, you know, he's he's got Eastern European background as well, so a, a lot of things we can share musically and as 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 people, you know. And it's it's very important in music that we have similarities. What a wonderful bond! Uh, you are listening to Jazz FM ninety one live from the TD Comfort Zone at the TD Toronto Jazz Festival. My name is Mark Wigmore. My guest is Robbie Boto. She plays the first of six performances tonight at the Jazz Bistro. Alario Duran works with you tomorrow night. How does that work out musically? How are you going to work that out on stage? Oh, you know what? It's awesome, and I have no idea how we're going to work it out. But it's it's always magical. We we have plans of what tunes you want to do, but you know I'm not a very not very much of a sound check and rehearsal guy you know i mean i do it to make the thing sound good but i i really like my biggest love goes for you know being in the moment and and so we have plans and then we change the plans and it's it's always beautiful with hilary and i mean i mean i look at look up to hilary as a as a legend not only here in toronto but like all over the world people you know associate uh him with uh, some of the greatest Cuban musicians you know he's, he's just a, a amazing musician and it's always a pleasure for me to work with him on Thursday night you've got the quartet uh, Seamus Blake the Vancouver native turned New Yorker that sounds like maybe one of the more robust evenings it sounds like there's gonna be a lot of people on stage I, I thought you were saying my last name there for a second <laughs> You actually got it right. Did I? Yes, you did. Thank goodness. It's Botosh, people. <laughs> it's Botosh. So, uh, yeah, uh, with Seamus, I mean, again, he's, I, I, I could say that he's, uh, you know, one of my 
favorite musicians out there and he's just great and and I'm I'm very looking forward to have him also have Mark McLean on drums and Paul Novotny on bass for the third night so I'm I'm very excited and we're going to try out some new tunes and on top of that I'm doing a gig in in Montreal at Upstairs where I'm going to have Lorna Lewis and uh, Mike Downs and Seamus and just wanted to spread the word that we're gonna we're gonna go into the studio in Montreal and record some new music for all the people. So, uh, you, I got Botos right. You got uh, Seamus right. Seamus <laughs> right. So, uh, at this point, do you do you look to take the career bigger? Do you set your sights on the international audience? How I mean, so to speak, how how are you moving forward? Uh, well, uh, I it, needless to say that. You know, music industry is at a very interesting place right now. There's some great sides uh, to the internet, so you know it's great to be out there and push your music, and and it's easier than ever. But you still need the old school approach, where you need those people, you know, behind you. And I have, I have a good team with A440 and, and Universal, who's been, you know, supporting. But I'm definitely. Uh, my biggest plan uh, for the near future is to to start bringing my original music not only on the internet you know but actually start bringing it to live audiences we can't wait and uh, of course I'm sure there'll be another record coming down the pipe and uh, Robbie Botosh thank you for taking a few minutes thank you so much for having me and thanks Jazz FM for you know making the city better <laughs>